Hello everyone, and today I will be unboxing this box from Sudugaya. I purchased this using my old proxy before I found out about DJapan. It just got to me. It took about two weeks to get to me after they shipped it out from Japan. Overall, the package took about a month to process because I do have to wait for Sudugaya to um, ship the items out to my proxy. So Sudugaya is this shop from Japan that sells a lot of used but also new goods, collectibles and other stuff. It's a very neat store. Um, it, I think there's one physical store in Japan but I mostly use and a lot of international collectors like to shop from their online store simply because their selection is enormous. So if there's something you want, chances are Sudugaya might have it. I've been buying from them for about two years now and they always have awesome stuff to buy from. So let's get started. Uh, so this has my name on it, but I do wanna show y'all how they package this stuff just so y'all know. Because um, the thing about Sudugaya is that they ship out stuff in very large boxes that are kind of oversized. So if you're planning to save on shipping costs, maybe um, asking for your proxy to repackage the items is probably the best thing to do. But just so y'all see what it looks like, they wrap everything together and then stick it to the back, or I guess the bottom of the box so that it does not move in transit. Because of that, usually what I do is if I don't have multiple packages coming or purchases coming to my proxy, I just let them ship it out in the box they ship it out in anyway. Okay, so... It's very sturdy. Even though it adds weight to the shipping cost, um, I think their way of packaging things is very smart. So let me unwrap all of this stuff so that we can get to what I bought. Let's start with the smaller stuff. So the first thing that I got is this bookmark. Uh, this was like 50 cents, so. <laughs> and my favorite character, and I read a lot, so a bookmark was the perfect thing. And you would think, why would they just sell a single bookmark? But like I said, Sudugaya is one of those special collectible shops, so they sell pretty much everything. And this is of America from Hitalia. It's just cardboard, but it's very cute. Does it cut off? No, it doesn't. So that's that. The next thing that I have is this Hitalia bookmark set. Now this is more sturdy. This is um, plastic, and it has four bookmarks that you just cut out of this liner. So it has America, Prussia, Russia, and I think it has all three in the back right here. They do put their store stickers on there, but usually they're easy to come off. I have not had problems with them so far. And there we go. Awesome. This is a file folder. These are very popular and common in Japan. They're essentially folders, but only one side, two sides are open. So these two sides open, but these do not. So you kind of have like a secure folder and usually they're printed with very neat designs. This is from an anime that I watched a long time ago that never sadly got translated or dubbed into English. It's called Kimi to Boku or Me to You. It's about just high school life with these five boys and it's, I don't know, I just liked it. It was very fun. He's my favorite. I love him. But that's awesome. And because the series is not that popular, it has very minimal amount of products, so I just buy whatever I can find. The next thing is this Yuri on Ice keychain. Now this was closed, I just used my knife to open it. And it is of Yuri. Come out. Ooh. See, that's something awesome about Sudogaya. Um, even though the items are used, they usually come in pristine condition. I'm sorry, it wasn't Yuri, it was Pichit. Um, Fichit. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he is one of my favorites and I thought he was cute. And he has his little hamster right there. Oh, that is so cute. And this is brand new. Oh my gosh. Awesome, awesome store. And just for reference, here are the other nine keychains you can get in this set of keychains. I'm not sure if they're still available somewhere else. Next, I have this little Pikachu coin purse and I've always wanted a coin purse. I usually have my wallet um, for change but I don't like when the wallet gets really fat to change, so I figured why not buy official Pikachu merch? Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Really, really soft, oh my gosh. And then it has this little embroidery on the back. Interesting texture. Eh. Okay, am I weak? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so it's just a little pluff up coin purse. And oh, it's so cute. I love it. And then it still has its original packaging. Cute. 
Very cute, actually. Look at the goldine. The next thing I have. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So I missed out on a lot of merchandise from this series called, uh, what was it called? High Defense Club Boys Love something. <laughs> I will link it in the description. But basically, I watched this when it first aired and I loved it. It's so funny. And this is a keychain or the little wand that the magical boy holds. And it's the wand for my favorite character, Atsushi. So I just wanted this to have on my bag because I love him so much. And he does not have enough merch for him. The next thing is actually a Mother Garden squishy. This is my first time buying Mother Garden. I know she's, um, or this brand of squishies is not the squishiest thing out there, but I really like this chicken toast. And if you buy things from Japan that are originate in Japan, trust me when I say they're probably going to be much cheaper than if you got them in America. Um, this was only $4. Yes, $4. Oh wow, that's super squishy. Wow. I was not expecting that. I always thought Mother Garden Squishies were very, very stiff or dense. Wow. I don't see any licensing. Don't know if Mother Garden actually puts licensing on there, but um, I love this. And says on the back 480 yen but because the yen is worth less than the US dollar that's probably cheaper for me amazing and it just smells like chemicals the next thing I have is actually another Martin mother garden squishy and this is a cake roll it's really fat wow Ooh, really soft just like the toast Oh my gosh. Oh man, I should have bought more Mother Garden Squishies. These are so nice. They feel really high quality too. I don't mean to offend any recent um or new Squishy stores but uh, or brands, but Squishies nowadays feel really airy and hollow. Like if you rip them just a teeny bit, they'll break. This This feels very sturdy. Wow, this is so squishy. Man. Well, I know what I'm buying next time I shop at Tsurugaya. And this one was only 480 yen as well, which rounds out to about $4. Awesome, awesome price. So the next thing I'm actually kind of laughing about because um, d because I bought the set of these faces on DJapan, I forgot I bought this one individually from Tsurugaya. So I'm probably just going to sell that off at some point, but it's one of the faces for your nendoroids. It's a little worried face. I just think it's really funny. The next thing, I'm going to take this sticker off because it's bothering me. But anyway, the next thing that I have is this Hetalia Sweets uh, set. I think I bought Russia. I think that's who's in here. Let me check. Oh, they put tape on it. All right. Yes, it is Russia, and it's just a little keychain um, with his picture on it, but it's in the shape of a, a snack. So each country has a different snack, I believe, and Russia has just potato chips, but everyone else has something different. Um, mini pretzels for Germany, jelly beans for Italy, Japan has little rice crackers, America has popcorn, England has biscuits, France has macarons, and China has panda gummies. This can kind of count as a squishy, actually. Well, in my opinion. I'm really, really waiting for them to restock America. Hopefully someone sells theirs to them and I can buy it. But it's just really cute. And I think the design is pretty funny. Awesome. The next thing is this Atsushi. So he's the guy whose keychain I just bought. Where'd it go? So he is the one whose keychain this is. He's the one with the green clover. He's my favorite magical boy. So I bought this acrylic 
keychain of him in this angel outfit, which is um, how they ended the second season. So cute. I love him. And it's a nice hefty size. Ugh, oh, so cute. Wow, they wrapped that in so much. <laughs> but here are the Tommy Tech little armory hands that I have been hunting for a while. So these are the hands that you're supposed to use with your Figma so that they hold all the guns from these series properly. Um, assuming I've already uploaded that review, you would have noticed that when I tried to post the guns that I already own with the Figmas, the hands just weren't compatible. They didn't hold anything properly. Now they will. So I'm very happy to finally have these and I got the black gloved version and then the skin tone version, which may look a little weird on the male one, but that's why I bought these. They're probably still too small, but that's okay. So I'm excited for these. And there is my anime haul, as well as some squishies from Sudagaya. Sudagaya is my most favorite stores to shop from. They have almost everything at one point or another. You just kind of have to add it to your wish list and wait for them to email you that it's in stock. I've bought much more before, trust me. This is one of my smaller hauls. <laughs> Just to give y'all a little bit info about Tsurugaya if you're interested, they are a Japanese store that sells a variety of collectibles from squishies to bookmarks, stationery, and anime merchandise and figurines. They sell both new and used goods. I know used can sound a little untrustworthy, but trust me, Japan has much different standards when it comes to used items than we do. Their used items are practically new. Um, a lot of this stuff is was actually considered used, such as the bookmark, uh, the plastic ones, even the squishies and uh, like the keychains and stuff. But as you can see, it all looks brand new. It's all in its original packaging, with the exception of this bookmark because this came in a set. But even then, look at it. It looks brand new. There's not a scratch on it. So they're very good about listing only items that they know people are interested in buying at a good condition. And if the condition is not that good, they do put markings or notes in the description of their items. It may be a little hard to navigate because you don't know Japanese, but Google Translate does a pretty good job of letting you know what um, it might be wrong with the item. So the difference between a proxy and a forwarder is that a proxy will charge you from everything to the shop, the number of items you buy, the value of the items, the number of shops that you buy from. Um, a forwarder will just sit there and let you buy everything yourself. You do all the work and they will lend you their address. So that's what I do. I shop from Sudugaya all the time. I make my purchase, pay for it, do all the work, just let them ship it to Big in Japan's warehouse. And then if I make multiple purchases, it just sits there until all of my packages arrive. And all that Big in Japan has to do is pack it up, uh, repackage it if I ask them to for a fee and send it to me. So all I really pay for is their forwarding service, which is about 500 yen, a little under $5 in USD, and then their repackaging fee if I choose to repackage it, I didn't for this one, and their shipping costs to me. And they do also offer the cheaper alternatives of shipping. They don't just have EMS, so that's also wonderful. That's my little spiel on Tsurugaya. I will leave the link to their website below in the description, as well as a link to Big in Japan's forwarding service. Um, if you would prefer that they buy you the things, then I do don't recommend them because they're kind of slow. The more you buy, the cheaper it'll be uh, individually. I think in total all of this was about $50, so divide it up into each cost and what each item would be worth retail price, it comes out to much cheaper. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will make sure to leave links to Surugaya and any other proxy services that I think y'all will find useful in the description. I'll see y'all in my next video.